Having understood what are the inputs and outputs of uh, INS, let's go quickly into the principle of working. You know, in the cockpit, it looks like this. This is the control display unit where you enter the coordinates and this is the mode selector. There are different modes, align mode, nav mode, attitude, reference mode. We'll discuss it later. Now, <coughs> this is called, this box is not present in the cockpit. It is present somewhere else. Now, this box has two components. One is a computer, which does all the calculations. We'll see in a second what cal calculations does it, do, does it do. And there's something called as a platform. Okay, so what is a platform? Your platform looks like this. It actually looks like this, but imagine this is your platform. Now, what is a platform contains? It contains five elements. Of these three are gyros aligned in X axis, Y axis and Z axis. Three gyros in three axis, correct? And there are two accelerometers. Okay, so the plot, the platform consists of three gyros and two accelerometers. So the question comes, total number of elements on the platform, five. Two gyro, sorry, three gyros and two accelerometers. Now, the platform in an aircraft is suspended as if it is a pendulum. Now, this pendulum not only moves forward, backwards, it moves in all directions. It, it, it is free to move in all directions. Now, let's see the actual working, actual principle of working of INS. Newton's first law, correct? Uh, inertia of motion. Yes. For example, if you are at home, correct? Holidays are going on. From uh, Like you see all the movies in the night, you sleep all day. This ha keeps on happening when? until your mother comes into your, your bedroom and kicks you out of the bedroom to go and study or to go and play. So until your mother comes in, it will go on. This is the, the, the first guy who got kicked out by his mother was Newton. So he designed his first law, Newton's first law, inertia of motion. That means it is not everybody. Of course, it is everybody. Everybody remains in rest or in state of uniform motion unless acted upon by his mother. No, by an external force. That means, for example, if the pendulum, if the aircraft is uh, like at rest or at uniform motion, the pendulum should be straight like this. You see, the pendulum should be straight. Now, let's say aircraft started accelerating, correct? It started increasing its velocity. Now, due to the inertia of motion, the pendulum wants to stay at the initial velocity or wants to stay at rest, whichever was there, correct? When the aircraft accelerates forward, the pendul the aircraft is accelerating forward, correct? The pendulum tries to stay in its own position. So it swings backwards, correct? Now, on the platform, what were there? Three gyros and two accelerometers. Now, these accelerometers will detect the acceleration. What do they detect? They detect here how much the aircraft did it, uh, aircraft velocity change. How do they detect? They detect here if the acceleration is more for the aircraft, the pendulum swing will be more backwards, correct? If the acceleration is less, the pendulum swing will be less. If the aircraft is decelerating, the pendulum will swing forwards, correct? So they, det they detect acceleration. If the aircraft is turning, the turning acceleration is detected because accelerometers are two in number. They are in north, south direction and east, west direction. Any acceleration of the aircraft can be computed or calculated or understood by these accelerometers. The accelerometers have calculated acceleration. Okay. Now, what does the platform consist of? It consists of three gyros, two accelerometers. Correct. Now, accelerometers know acceleration, and that acceleration is sent to computer. Let's see about computer. It is a very simple device here. You know, basics, basic mathematics, differentiations, integrations. Here, this computer has two integrators. It does nothing but simple integration calculations. Now, what is acceleration? If your in initial velocity is, let's say, 50 and your final velocity is 100, if, you, if that velocity changed in one minute, your acceleration is like 50 per minute. You know, final minus initial velocity with respect to time. So acceleration is change in velocity with respect to time. That is delta V, that is change in velocity with respect to time. Now, you know differentiation. You differentiate something with respect to time, d by dt. 
or d by dx acceleration means you multiply with respect to something for example your acceleration happened for first one second this much next three seconds this much so you keep on adding or you keep on integrating these things this is called as integration correct now in the first integrator you multiply time or you integrate acceleration with respect to time so change in velocity with respect to time when integrated with time they both will get cancelled and it will give you the velocity of the aircraft correct now this again is sent into second integrator what is velocity change in distance by time correct the distance traveled or final dist uh, final point minus initial point correct if i if the if i'm standing here if my initial point is 0 i travel 10 meters in 1 minute so this final point is 0 minus 10 correct 0 minus 10 would be 10 divided by 1 minute so it is my my speed is 10 meters per minute that is change in velocity or delta d by t now that change in distance change in distance with respect to time is velocity if i integrate with time that means here first a few seconds like three seconds the uh, velocity was this much and then the velocity change and i compute for the total flight how much time the aircraft is flying so that's called integration correct if i integrate the time the time and time gets cancelled and final input is the distance traveled by the aircraft you know this is how the distance traveled by the aircraft is computed and it it has two accelerometers one in north north south direction and other in east west direction so anywhere you move they keep on calculating as if you are moving on a x y plane so it will give you a final position it will give your distance travel from a fixed point this is how the computer integrates your acceleration to get your distance now that's a funny point see i have told you here newton's first law correct inertia of motion this not only works in on ground on earth it also works in space in space also if something is at rest it will be in rest until acted upon by an external force or if a meteoroid is in uniform motion it will move in uniform motion until acted upon by an external force this is called as inertia of motion it happens in space so the space crafts which fly in space spaceships they also use ins to go from to travel from one point to other in space GPS only ground. We were only ground. That too in the DOC area. Correct. Lot of errors. Okay. It needs lot of equipment. This system, even the spacecraft, spaceships travel with this. Correct. So, it is your next level concept. Oldest concept which is still widely used now. So, this is how, what is the principle? This is the principle of working of operation of the INS. Correct. So that's why it's called see it depends on the law of inertia of motion correct inertial navigation system see inertia correct inertia of motion is calculated just by the use of accelerometers and integrating things that's all hope you understood this now you may ask sir you have explained about computer which integrates two integrators First will integrate give you velocity, second will integrate give you distance. You have explained two accelerometers. Now what about gyro sir? What, why are they there? I am coming to that point. See, in an aircraft uh, which has INS, there are no separate DJI, there is no separate artificial horizon. All the inputs to DJI and artificial horizon, which are the primary instruments, are given by INS only. Okay, there is standby DGA which works on the principle of gyros, correct? It has a dedicated DGA, but that's only standby. The main uh, devices or main uh, PFD, primary flight display, will get inputs from this INS. Now, one gyro is there for pitch, one gyro is there for roll, one gyro is there for yaw. So, along with the distance movement, any change in pitch yaw or roll of the aircraft is detected and it is given to the respective instruments this is one use of this kairos but this is not the main use see you have to understand this can only detect acceleration once it is moved or once it is displaced from its position correct now every time it gets displaced it has to come back yes or no correct now that displacement is sensed by this gyro and this gyro sends a small current 
to a motor torque motor and that will make the gyro come to the center so again the aircraft can move forward and detect the acceleration correct so the main function of gyros in ins is to reset the platform to center the platform should always be stable like this so any change accelerometers will detect it and the gyros will detect the movement and will change it will send a small current to torque motor torque motor will send the current to sorry it, it will send the current to amplifier amplifier will send to torque motor torque motor will reset the gyro that means gyro platform the platform has always to be maintained horizontal gyro platform or just the platform of ns has always not as is always to be maintained horizontal your here comes a very important question okay what is the platform of ins called as i i'm not talking about irs irs has ring laser gyros that's a different uh way of acting correct ins inertial navigation system the first topic which we are discussing which has a platform which is suspended like a pendulum which has a computer and five elements this i am talking about this platform has is been given a name which they ask in multiple times in multiple exams apls uh, sorry AT, cpl atpl etc correct that platform is called as gyro stabilized platform correct 10 stars to this question gyro stabilized platform next just to revise gyros two uses one it supplies to all the instruments the dji artificial address and because the three gyros are there in three pitch axis and it is used to stabilize the platform it is maintained always horizontal that's why because the gyros are stabilizing the platform this platform is called as gyro stabilized platform 